Here we go. Will you welcome your host for the rest of the afternoon, Mary Kennedy. I'm absolutely delighted to be here once again, uh, to be a part of the annual showcase for Young Social Innovators 2011. And this really is party time. You know, you guys are really, really lucky. This is a very special year. It's the 10th anniversary. This is the culmination, I know, for all of you, of a lot of hard work, commitment, of creativity and dedication, and also, very importantly, of teamwork. Out there is the group that will be going away with the title of Young Social Innovators 2011. Could be anyone, could be you. We're absolutely delighted and deeply honoured to have as our special guest, our Taoiseach. Uh, firstly, I want to say that it's a great privilege to be here with the future of Ireland. The Young Social Innovators has been a magnificent success and I would like to pay tribute to Sister Stan, to Rachel Collier and also to all of those who have participated in any way over this last decade to bring this to a reality. And I want to say this to you, as the leader of the country, I'm so proud of our young Irish people who are well able to stand on that international stage and more than compete with your peers from any other country. And it's brilliant to see you all down there in your thousands. Enjoy your showcase. I wish you every success in the future. And if you ever want an ear to listen or somebody to tell a story to, you have open access to us with a direct line to the future of our country and you have a direct line to the present. Thank you very much indeed. Education is at the heart of a more cohesive, more equal and more successful society. And that's the kind of education we need. An education that will empower people, that will empower a new generation of young people with new innovative ideas and with the drive to make these ideas a reality. Here, you young people who represent 35,000 young people who have participated in YSI over the past 10 years. You have had a huge impact on your communities and thousands of people across the country. You young people are sending out a message today from here. You're sending out a very important message. You're saying that you care about other people, that you care about our society, and that you want more and more young people to care. And thank you for that. And I hope that we have it in our hearts to listen to you, to hear you, and to respond to you. Will you welcome to Sing No Frontiers, the one and only Mary Black. If life is a river, and your heart is a ball, I'm just like a water baby, baby, born to flow. And if life is a wild wind that blows way on high, then your heart is a million dying to fly. Let's we'll sing. Heaven knows. No. And I've seen heaven in your eyes. And you guys are really the leaders of today, and more importantly, you're going to be the leaders of the future. And I salute each and every one of you and wish you well for that. But also out there are the holders of the title of Young Social Innovators for 2010. What advice would you give to the, the winners who are out there somewhere? We're going to be. Uh, we're going well, to be. First of all, I would advise them to just take it all in, soak in the praise they get, soak in the media coverage. But with the media coverage, be clever. Last year we elected a PRO, 
I, for the group and she took all the interviews and the newspaper articles and from that we were able to benefit from the full media coverage. We were able to enhance our public image in the community and from there we were able to go on. We had the incentive to push on and finish the project for September. We're absolutely delighted with the pro progress of the cafe so far and as you said it opened on the 24th of September last year. So that was a mere 50 weeks after our initial idea and brainstorming of the project. <laughs> um, we're delighted to say we have 100 members so far and 15 local adult volunteers. Congratulations to you all. Skullwerig on Small in Blarney and County Cork. Okay, so um, we are now going to present the awards. Yay! The challenge is making our world a better place for young people. The award goes to Sow the Seed, Sit and Read from St. Paul's Bucharest, County Galway. Their guide is. Eileen D. Sulicone. Well done, everyone. Making our world more inclusive and poverty free. The award goes to Actions Speak Louder Than Words from Our Ladies College in Drogheda in County Louth. And the guide is Lindsay Gallagher. Well done. So the challenge is making our community better. And the award goes to I Need You from Presentation show. College Tune in County Galway. What is known as? And their guide is Esther Mannion. Uh, so this challenge is making our world uh, one world. The award goes to Youth Alive, uh, Alert, Enthusiastic Presentation College, Carlo. And the guide is Mags Terran. The challenge is making our world healthier. The award goes to See the bright side. Golstowera NS County Clear. Their guide is Margaret Harrell. This challenge is making our world healthier and it's in regard to mental health. And the award goes to I Swing That Way from St. Columbus Comprehensive School, Glenties, County Donegal. And their guide is Aileen Dowling. The challenge is making our world more fair and just. The award goes to Reduce the Abuse from Loretto Convent, County Donegal, and their guide is Siobhan Bradley. The challenge is making our world safer, and the award goes to Smooth Cycling from Mercy Heights, Skibbery. Their guide is Siobhan Murray. The challenge is making our world greener. The award goes to Let's Get Greener from Mercy College, Kulak, Dublin 5. And their guide was Mary Scally. So the challenge is relationships and sexual health. And the award goes to, because of you, St. Angela's College Corps. So this is the YSI Step Up Challenge. The award goes to Hope Square. From Presentation College Tune. And their guide is Esther Mannion. We have our additional three awards. Uh, to present the first of those, which is the fundraising challenge, I want you to welcome on stage a wonderful supporter and friend to YSI, uh, Norma Smurfett of Jefferson Smurfett Foundation. The award goes to See the Light Side, the Bright Side, sorry, from Ennis. Margaret Harold was their guide. Now, the second up is the winning team in the post it challenge this year. And this will be presented by Barbara Lisa on behalf of Vision Consulting. The award goes to Homelessness from Sacred Heart Secondary School, Clontalkin. The guide is Rosemary Sexton. To present this new award, it's called Using Technology to Change the World. So I'd be delighted if, from the Board of Directors, you would welcome Leo Norris to present this award. This team used online media to increase awareness about the amount of neglected animals in the area and the idea of raising funds for Cottage Rescue Centre. Republic of Lewis! Yeah! Hey, fair play ideas. We're not very young or very social, but we are innovators, so we're very happy to be here. Some of your jokes are real funny You kind of remind me of Bugs Bunny You know it's all money, your folks are so tummy You could be a real nice woman Right now I'm just a real nice nothing Took my advice to start running I stopped trying to come out, I come and stop fronting You 
obvious, so obvious. I sort of sound a little stuffy. I don't wanna stop. So if a girl don't stop me, stop the beat. I'm not ready. Hold on until I get my legs up more steady. Wait a minute, I, that's Betty. Better than the better when the real more heavy. You know you it. Go, you know. You go, you know you it. Go, you know. to follow such a superb performance as that from Republic of Luce, and that is with the announcement of the, the winner of the Young Social Innovator for 2011. The winner of the Bronze Challenge for Young Social Innovator of the Year, under the influence, St. Declan's Community College in Waterford, and their guide is Kate O'Sullivan. And now to the silver award. The award goes to Missing Persons, Davis College in Mallow in Cork. And their guide is Siobhan Murray. And finally, to the Young Social Innovators of the Year, the award goes to Divert Your Stride from Suicide. Mount Mercy College in Cork and their guide is Mairead O'Donoghue.